Welcome back to our third episode in our Plan Set 8 through our Harley Blueprint series book. And in this episode, we're going to finish up with the foundation for both the house and we're, then we're going to create a just a quick little um, foundation for our other two little buildings, the garage and the little pool room. This is where you should end up. We have two groups. Well, we have, we haven't turned this into a group yet, but we have the plot, which is already a group. And then we have just our person that's still over here in the corner. You can toggle on and off your other groups or components by going into the outliner panel, which is over here to the right. You can press down on the middle scroll wheel in order to bring up your orbital and that way we can orbit up and underneath press down on the shift key while you're holding down the orbit tool and that will bring up the pan so we can kind of pan around orbit around and then you can hit the scroll wheel uh, to scroll up and down in order to zoom in and out really quickly we're going to do a few different things to begin with we're going to take our push pull and we're simply going to pull these down and type in six enter same thing here this is going to be eight enter Now the only thing we need to do is put in our diagonal pieces. So to begin with, I'm going to do all of the interior pieces in one measurement and then the exterior in a second measurement. So we're going to take our tape measure and I'm simply going to go six inches Take your line tool, and we're simply just going to draw out and connect these pieces. So we're going to draw a line there. I want to draw a line diagonally there. And then we're going to draw a line diagonally there. What that did was it created all four lines because we already had a line going up the top. So once you have four, four edges that are on the same plane, then that creates your face. So we can do the same thing over here. And by going to six inches, that just creates that 45 degree angle because we went six inches up. If you created a line by mistake, for example, I clicked over here, you can do, you can hold down control and hit Z, or you can come up here and, and, and hit this undo button. But again, continue to use your mouse and keyboard shortcuts. If you click by mistake, you can hit escape key, which is in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard, and that will undo that click. So right here, I finished up all these lines, but it's not connecting. So it's not creating a new face, as you can see. So whenever that happens, we need to go in here and there's some problem with one of these lines not sure where yet but there's a problem somewhere in here um, because that means that this is not perfectly flat and it's not on the same plane so one of the biggest things that you'll see whenever this happens is there's a gap so kind of look through here make sure there's no gap but over here you can see that this line is actually diagonal so it starts right there it's off but then if we come over here it's actually on the guide so that is our problem so come in here take my eraser tool and I need to erase that I need to erase this line take my line tool again make sure I go from that intersection to there and then connect this point 
to this point. And there we fixed that issue and the face showed up. So let's go, let's go through here and we're going to do this all the way around. Just quickly typing in six and enter. Again, your inches is your default measurement. So we don't need to do anything, any kind of posh fees or anything like that on these. Again, if you misclick, just hit escape. Make sure your line is either red or green, depending on which side it's going off of. So let's go and I'm going to connect these lines first. So this line to there, I'm going to simply draw around, making sure that my line is hitting that intersection. I try not to create too many guides so where I can't, they start kind of interfering with each other. Here we go from this corner to corner. And as you see, as we start drawing these, then they start closing in those faces. measure that that looks off yeah so that's why I don't draw too many guides so let's come through here and I'm going to erase all of these guides so that way I can draw new ones and I don't get confused all right so there we go so let's take our tape measure you can hit the letter T on your keyboard and that brings up your tape measure so now we're just going to go through here and do that. Take your line tool and draw out your lines. That's already set at six inches. So let's come in here, six, six. Again, those guides are not lines, they're simply guides. So we still have to draw in the lines on top of those guides. Let's take our tape measure again. Let's finish up this little guide there. That little guide, that little guide.
And I think this will, is our last one. So let's erase our guides so we can kind of see where we are at. And we have that piece right there. So we finished all the interior pieces. The exterior piece, um, it is a smaller, so we're just going to go four inches. So we need to, we're going to take your tape measure and we're going to create a guide here for enter, for enter. And now we're also going to draw a line going up, which is along the blue axis, for and enter. So I'm going to draw out my line going all the way around, making sure my lines are either red, green, as that means that they are straight. It will enclose, so we're just going to right click and erase that. And then here we can come in here and create our other tape measures over here so four enter and four enter so now we take our line tool and connect all of our dots Draw in our corner pieces. You can hit escape in order to go around to the other sides. Again, if you mess up, control Z is the keyboard shortcut that I use. Use that all the time. here we can um, you could come through here and do that manually you can also come in here we can triple click on this right click and we can go over to intersect faces with selection and that will draw those lines wherever you have faces meeting each other there is no diagonal for this is where the chimney is. So here we can clean up all of our last pieces. I want to triple click on this, right click, and I want to turn this into a group. Once we turn it into a group, over here in our outliner panel, right click and go to rename. And this is going to be our foundation. Let's bring back our plot. And I'm simply going to create two other rectangles over here. Use your hit the P key, which is the push pull tool, which is the keyboard shortcut. And we're simply going to pull these up six inches. So six enter, six enter. And let's turn these into groups as well. So rename this is going to be the garage. Triple click, right click, make a group. And this is going to be pool room. So 
So here we go. Um, this is the end of this episode. In our next episode, we're going to actually start creating the house and the walls and all of that. Uh, make sure you take your appropriate screenshots. Make sure I can see everything that you did. And I will see you in our next episode.